Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Garage with IMS. Have you ever worked on your motorcycle and you've come across a really stubborn bolt or screw and you have a fear that you might strip it? Well, this video is for you. If you haven't already invested in an impact screwdriver, then now's the time. I'm going to pass this over to Steve Noble over at Skidmark Garage and he's going to show you exactly how to use this effective and low-tech tool and why it's a must-have in any motorcycle toolkit. Take it away, Steve. All right, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. I'm here at Skidmark Garage. I'm uh, going to run and do a quick uh, tool tutorial video today. i uh, got impact screwdrivers here. And um, a lot of people ask questions about how to use these things. And a lot of the old Japanese motorcycles guys have talked about, the JIS, Japanese Imperial Standard Screwdrivers, and this and that. You can argue about it whichever way you want. Either way, these old Phillips bits inside the engine cases are really hard to get out with a conventional screwdriver. These two here, they're holding down the valve assembly, are pretty much seized in place. So we have a impact screwdriver. Basically the way this works is there's a little cam and spring load mechanism in here. And uh, you insert the Phillips bit down into the screw, or Allen, or flathead, depending on which interchangeable bit you have in there. Insert that down in there, twist, and push down on it a little bit. Make sure you twist first, then push down on a little bit. Then you're going to strike the back side of it with a hammer. And what happens is, as it goes down, that little cam and spring action actually force the Phillips bit to rotate to the left. Or, well, force the assembly to rotate to the left, in this case, the Phillips bit. And the, the downward force makes the bit bite into the screw that you're trying to get out. And then, of course, that little bit of left turn cam action will back the bolt out as it does it. Usually, even for the most stubborn or even partially stripped bolts, uh, one good solid hit will do it. Uh, put it down there, should spin right back out after that. So, let's give it a shot. All right, here. So, I'm going to insert the Phillips bit down in there, nice and solid. Turn to the left, then push down, apply some downward pressure. I'm going to take a ball peen hammer, make sure everything's all lined up and straight. Give it a good, almost there. Push down, turn again. There we go. Now it took three hits, but still. That Phillips bit out of this 1972 CB350 that has probably been in there since 1971 spins right back out. Phillips bit's still intact, threads are still in good shape. Do it once more just to demonstrate here. Fill it bit down in there, push down, turn to the left. You'll feel it kind of lock into place there. You'll feel everything kind of load up on it. So, there it goes. And again, backs right on up out of there. Now, these are pretty much junk bolts after this is done. You can see this one's actually bent a little bit. When you go put this motor back together, uh, spend the extra couple bucks, go buy new bolts, don't reuse these old hardware. Uh, you're never going to get a good torque spec on that old head. Plus, Phillips bits are terrible. Uh, spend a few bucks and buy yourself some Allen bolts, too. Save you a lot of grief down the road. Alright, that's all I got. Um, if you want to uh, see any more videos, click subscribe in the link below. And uh, check out Skidmark Garage here, too. Community Garage, everybody's welcome at. That's all I got. Ride fast, take chances. Well, there you have it, everybody. A great tool to have, but remember, whenever you're working on your motorcycle, be sure to double check and triple check your work to ensure that everything is operating as it should. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all of our digital channels, including continuetheride.com, so that you can get updates on all the stuff that we're doing here at IMS, including new videos, a ton of digital content that's coming to you, and also our upcoming tour, the Progressive IMS Outdoors, which is happening in 2021. Until next time, remember, ride smart, ride safe, and we'll see you out there on the road.